Hello everyone, welcome back to MedBook. Today's video contains a very useful topic for international pharmacy graduates who wish to register in Canada. Before proceeding, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can find so many sample questions with detailed discussion for the PEBEC evaluating exam as well as for other pharmacists' competitive exams, like CAPS Australian Pharmacist Registration Exam and DHA exam. So, this video explains the very first steps of the application process for PEBEC pharmacist licensing process, including how to get a NAPRA ID and PEBEC ID for document evaluation and to get an ECA or Educational Credential Assessment. To begin with the registration, visit the PEBEC website. To begin your registration, open your web browser and go to the official PEBEC website. You can find the link in the video description below. The first step is to register with Pharmacist Gateway Canada for International Pharmacists to get a NAPRA ID. I'm giving the link in the description. Open the portal and this is Pharmacist Gateway Canada and as we can see here, enrollment in Pharmacist Gateway Canada is a mandatory step in the process to become a licensed pharmacist in Canada. As specified in the website, the fee for enrollment in the website is 375 Canadian dollars, before it was 340. After registering with Gateway, we will get a NAPRA ID. To begin the application process, we have to click on the Login button on the top of the page. It will direct you to this page. Here you can see these links such as if you do not have a national ID number or guest profile in Pharmacist Gateway Canada, self-assessment, and NAPRA Diagnostic Tool and Learning Modules, we have to select the first option as we want to obtain a national ID number and register with Pharmacist Gateway. Select the option and click on Create a Profile. Then here you can enter all required information such as a username, email, and password, security question and answer, your name, date of birth, and preferred language. Once you fill up every detail cross-check the information once again read the terms and conditions and finally the click to agree option and submit the application. Once you submit the application you will be directed into the payment portal and there you can make the payment of 375 Canadian dollars and you will get a national identifier number from NAPRA. Remember that National Identifier Number and NAPRA ID are the same. You can see this number on the top of the Pharmacist Gateway Canada website once you log in with your ID and password. Like this. So now you got the NAPRA ID. The next step is to register in the candidate portal and get a PEBEC ID. Now we have to go back to the PEBEC website. And here you can find the candidate portal option on the top and click on it. In very easy steps you can create your portal. Here you can see two options. One is a portal for PEBEC pharmacist candidates and portal for PEBEC pharmacy technician candidates. So you have to select the first link for the pharmacist. It will guide you into this page showing Welcome to PEBEX Candidate Portal. Existing portal account login is for those who already created a portal account then you can simply log in here. If you do not have a portal account or PEBEX ID number. If you have a PEBEX ID number but no portal. So here for the first time, we need to create a portal so the second link, select this one and if you are a US graduate here is a link and another link for international graduates. Select the best option. I'm selecting the second one, International Graduates. Here you will get a window and it will lead to the Certamy platform. Create a profile here by filling in the details or continue with Google. Confirm. Create account. Now they will send a verification email, and I will open my email directly.
Here I have a PEBEC verification email and I complete the registration process by verifying it. Here you can fill in the additional information as specified, accept and continue. My PEBEC portal has been created now and it will look like this initially. You can bookmark this link because from now onwards all your PEBEC registration process will be updated through this portal. Let's have a look at the portal. In the main menu you can see My Applications, in which the applications will automatically be assigned to you based on your eligibility as you progress through your certificate pathway. This is a digital wallet. You will find all documents uploaded by you or PEBEC here including photos, admission cards, exam result letters, feedback reports, fee receipts, etc. Also, you can see the options like transcript, which is currently not in use than the user guide for the portal. And here you can see the candidate profile where you can view and update your profile information and also a logout button. Also, you can access the candidate's user guide for any other information or doubts regarding the use of the portal. As you can see, the first step will be document evaluation. And here you can see the current phase of your application. On the other side, you can see the steps you have to finish. Here, as you can see, the first step will be document evaluation. You have to fill and submit all these details, such as your education and licensing information, etc. To complete this application, you have to pay around 695 Canadian dollars. Once you finish payment, you will get a PEBEC ID. And you can send the documents for document evaluation to PEBEC and to get an ECA. The steps for document evaluation and to get an ECA or educational credential assessment, you'll do in another video in detail. Remember to bookmark this page for quick access. Also, I have a small suggestion. It will be better for you to create a fresh email ID for the PEBEC registration process so that you will not miss any small updates from PEBEC. The portal allows you to create a profile with your personal and professional details, apply for PEBEC's processes, and receive updates and results from PEBEC. PEBEC also gives some key tips regarding the portal use. First one is bookmark the existing bottle account link after you have logged in the first time. The portal may be unavailable for daily maintenance 3 to 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Add this email address to your safe sender's emails to ensure portal notifications do not end up in your junk folder, which is also very important. Also, according to PEBEC, credentials are equal to application. Please note that a credential in the portal is what PEBEC refers to as an application. Thank you for watching and also you can check our channel. You can find so many sample questions with detailed discussion for the PEBEC evaluating exam as well as for other pharmacist competitive exams like CAPS Australian Pharmacist Registration Exam and DHA exam.